Hey, how's it going, Fire fans? Welcome to Mindful Combat. If you're new to this channel, my name is Rohan, and this is my platform where I do MMA and boxing related content. And if you're new here, I need you to help me to grow my platform. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button, like the video, dislike the video, and share it out to your friends and family. Now, for this video, I'm going to be breaking down an upcoming women's fight between Jessica Andrade and Wei Lei Zhang. Now, this is a very important fight in the women's strawweight division, and it's one that I'm really, really looking forward to. So Jessica Andrade is coming off an incredible showing against Rose Nami Yunus where she was really getting lit up like a Christmas tree for a couple of rounds and dunked Rose on her head. Rose uh, a fighter that I think a lot of and um, actually I picked Jessica Andrade to win that fight because I felt like Rose is a fighter that takes a lot of risks coming into that fight and um, sometimes those risks ain't always worth the reward and I feel like that's what played out. She didn't really defend herself in that Kimura attempt properly. She got dunked on her head and the fight got finished. Coming into this fight now, Jessica Andrade fights a fighter who... Um, isn't so risk adverse and it's kind of key and it's, it's, it's an important fight for the women's division especially in history so it's a main event in China you've got a Chinese fighter fighting for um, a UFC title who will be the first Chinese fighter in history to win a world title where she's the win and she's fighting Jessica Andrade who's you know um been a staple in the women's MMA for a long time. She, of course, debuted at Bantamweight. She's come all the way down to 115, and she's looked pretty damn incredible since doing it. I believe she's gone 7-1 and since her drop down to strawweight, and she's been impressive in each of those fights. Even her fights with um, Joanna Janzacek, who she lost against, she still looked pretty damn incredible in the fight. She showed a lot of stuff, and she fights Wei Lei Zhang, an experienced kickboxer and Sandor, a Sandor fighter. For those of you who don't know what Sandor is, that's Chinese kickboxing. You should check out some Sandor fights. It's pretty dope. And check out some left way while you're at actually. You know, maybe I should do a video about left way. Would you guys want to see a video about left way? Anyways, I'm digressing. I'm digressing. So, um, <laughs> Wei Lei Zhang is a fighter that I'm very fond of. And this should be a really, really good fight. So now, let me get into the fight. And let's um, go through the tailor of tape. Jessica Andrade is 27 years old. In a physical prime and competitive fight and prime at 27 years old. She's a young lady. And she fights another young lady in Wei Lei Zhang who's only 30 years old. Yes, she's three years older. Yes, she's hit that 30 milestone. But she's still very young. She's still very sharp. In her fights, you can tell she's still a young woman. And comes into this fight uh, at the peak of her physical prime as well when she's got a lot of background in kickboxing as well and that's something we need to consider. Jessica Andrade's record in this fight is 20 wins and 6 losses and she fights Wei Lei Zhang who's 19 and 1 loss. Now that means um, obviously Jessica Andrade's had a few more fights but Wei Lei Zhang's a very experienced fighter in her own right. The difference in this fight however is UFC experience. Jessica Andrade's been in there, we've seen her fight the 5 round main events, we've seen her in the UFC for a long time, whereas Wei Lei Zhang's had all the three fights in the UFC. It's a first round five fight main event. With all her experience and how well traveled she is as a martial artist, not just as a, um, a mixed martial artist, I believe it shouldn't be a problem. But will it make a difference? Will that experience play out? It could. It could. And that's something that we've got to consider. Just kind of draw a stand at 5'2, which makes her two inches shorter than Wei Lei Zhang, who's 5'4. And she also has a one inch, a one inch reach disadvantage to Wei Lei Zhang, having a 62 inch reach to Wei Lei Zhang's 63 inch reach. Now that slight bit of size difference will, in my opinion, make a difference, particularly when you consider that Wei Lei Zhang's a striker and Jessica Andrade likes to strike as well. And um, I believe that Wei Lei Zhang may be able to leverage that to her benefit in this fight, and I think that's going to be key, and we should really consider what difference that can make. When we're looking at their styles now, so Jessica Andrade, I mean, I would describe her as a bit of a berserker in the world of MMA. She throws the looping hook. She's very powerful when she relies on that. Even with her takedown, um, it's a lot about, like, smashing. She's kind of like a, a female Khabib. Like, she likes to smash people. Her takedowns are based on her strength. When you look at her dunking rows on her head, when you look at her knockouts that she's gotten, like, a, a knockout of... Carolina Kowalko, which it was like looping hooks. She's not really a technically proficient, clean, smooth striker. She throws looping hooks. She's powerful, almost like a young female Vanderlei. I'm comparing it to loads of men, but you know, um, it's probably not very PC of me, I guess. But anyways, I fuck it. anyway. <laughs> so uh, Wele Zank, her style. I mean, she's um, she's like I said, she's got the uh, standout back. And she's actually got really good technical clean striking. I think she's a really, really good striker. And while she's a bit of an unknown commodity coming into this fight, I rate her very highly as a contender. And I think coming into this fight, she's going to enjoy her advantage on the feet. And considering her, both their styles are compatible in terms of it will be a striking fight, in my opinion. And I'll get into that. I believe that she's going to have the more polished striking. 
as we move on, let's look at some of the key wins. So for Jessica Andrade, the list is pretty long. She's got a pretty impressive resume. When you look at her wins at Bantamweight over Raquel Pennington, who went on to fight for a Bantamweight world title. She's beaten Claudia Cadella, a former world title challenger at Strawweight. She's beaten Tisha Torres, you know, a long-time veteran in the UFC. And her biggest win to date is Rose Namajunas in a fight, in her most recent fight, a fight where she was having a bad time and then she was able to pull it out. She fights Weile Zhang, whose um, best wins are her three UFC fights in the world of MMA anyway, being Tisha Torres, Jessica Aguilar, who's, you know, the former World Series of Fighting uh, uh, women's strawweight champion and was once considered the best in the world. And she's also beaten Daniel Taylor, who's, you know, she's not a top, top tier fighter, but she's a respected veteran, I would say, in mixed martial arts. For Jessica Andrade, her issues is going to be that she's a bit wild, and in my opinion, she's very predictable. You know, you know what you're going to get with Jessica Andrade. She doesn't really mix it up. She throws looping hooks, leads with her head, grunts and throws all the power she can and then she'll try to smash you with the takedowns and um, those are her issues with Wei Lei Zhang her issue for me the biggest issue that I see coming into this fight for her is inexperience at the top of the division inexperience in the main event fight how's that going to impact her in this fight and I believe stuff like that does impact fighters so we got to really watch how that plays out in this fight and it's going to be an interesting one. it's going to be an interesting chess match in my opinion to see this fight play out the X Factor for Jessica Andrade will always be her X Factor is her strength and her power, her knockout power. Not many women carry knockout power and she's also a very brutally strong person. But Wei Lei Zhang is also a very strong person. She's known for her strength and her biggest X Factor in my opinion is this in this fight it's going to be her polished striking and her clean um, her clean fundamentals in when it comes to the realm of um, kickboxing. Now let's get into my prediction. So in my opinion, Jessica Andrade is going to come out here and try to strike with Wei Lei Zhang. Okay. She's going to come out here and try to strike with um, the, the Sandar fighter. And the issue here that she's going to find is that the slightly bigger Wei Lei Zhang is going to have a technical advantage over her in defeat. Maybe not as big as Joanna did, but the difference between Wei Lei Zhang and Joanna is I believe Wei Lei Zhang will carry more consequences in her shots. For as good as Joanna is on the feet, she is not a knockout artist. She's not a finisher. But I believe that Wei Lei Zhang, whilst she may not be you know the strongest finisher on earth she does carry power in her strikes and when i've seen her kickboxing fight she's impressed me so there jessica andrade is going to find difficulties okay now the difference here is jessica andrade can try to go to a grappling game do i think waylay zhang will be able to defend the takedowns yes and no so yes i believe she'll be able to defend some of them no i don't think she'll be able to defend all of them over the course of 25 minutes however from what I've seen of Wei Lei Zhang, I'm going to assume that she's going to be able to get off the floor if she gets down. And I think she's going to be able to defend enough takedowns for long enough to be able to do damage on her feet and rack up points. Now, I know what you're thinking. It seems like I'm leaning towards Wei Lei Zhang. Well, you're right. I think Wei Lei Zhang's going to be able to keep this fight on the feet and maneuver herself into a round-by-round -round basis to be able to get a nice points lead. I believe she's going to have a good strategic advantage on the uh, on the feet and she's going to start picking Jessica and dry the part, defend the takedowns and I believe she's going to be getting the decision. So for my official prediction guys, I'm going to go with the underdog, I'm going to go with the unknown Weile Zhang to be able to upset Jessica and dry them and become the first ever UFC world champion from China. So this should be a really, really big night for her and I have to give a quick shout out to my little brother who, you know, me and him got speaking about this and he really helped me see because uh, I was originally picking Jessica Andrade but obviously debating it with him and that's what I love about mixed martial arts is that you never know everything and I might get this wrong and I might have had it right in the beginning but that's fine, I, I love mixed martial arts and um, I'm, I'm cool with that So, and obviously Jessica Andrade has her opportunities to win one blink and it could be all over if she messes up hard but I believe Wei Lei Zhang has a good enough chin to be able to survive that so anyways guys, um, like I said, for my official prediction, I'm going to go with Wei Lei Zhang to be able to get the decision and become USC's first ever Chinese world champion. It should be a big deal. So guys, let me know what you guys thought of my breakdown. Let me know if you guys disagree with me and where you disagree with me. And let me know what, um, how you guys have this fight going. Thank you for watching guys. I'm Rohan. This is Mindful Combat.